Only on NBC5 News tonight, a family in White City is placing messages around the community. Their goal, to inspire hope and bring people together. NBC5's Anthony Carter is live in studio with the inspiring story. Anthony. Craig, the Tiny Superheroes organization aims to recognize and uplift children with rare disabilities. One family here in the Rogue Valley found out about the program on Facebook, and they've been trying to bring joy to people ever since. But I'm too sure. Brandy oh, yeah, Kirk and her two talk. children, Marley and RJ, live in White City. Together, they're hiding inspirational notes like this one around a community for people to find. Each one comes with a penny attached for good luck. We just want to brighten up their day and make them happy. So far, the Kirks have hidden nearly 50 of these notes since Monday. Somebody's having a bad day, they find this, it brings a smile to their face. 11-year-old Marley is doing this because she's a tiny superhero. It's an organization that started in Missouri to empower children with rare illnesses or disabilities. Marley has Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. It's a bleeding disorder and makes joints overly flexible. Her grandmother has it, her dad has it, and she has it. Tiny Superhero sends kids like Marley personalized capes. Hers is in the mail. People that have kids with rare disorders don't have to feel alone like they're by themselves, you know? Every month, the superheroes can complete missions. The goal for March is hope. Marley and her family hope that people will find these notes. When nothing goes right, go left. And passes the positivity on. Now each note has instructions for taking a photo and posting it online. If you want to learn more, visit tinysuperheroes.com. Live in studio, Anthony Carter, NBC5 News.